Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the top 5 cards in Eldritch Moon. We'll base it not only on price, but playability. Number 5, we have Emical, the Promised End. Normally I wouldn't play him up this high, but I'm very excited to play with him with Nahari. I think it's kind of a cool combo, and it definitely has a lot of flavor when you pull that combo off at FNM, so I like him. Number 4, this card I'm liking more and more. I didn't like him when he first came out, Grim Flayer. A, I've been tricked by this type of card a lot. However, he does seem pseudo Tamagoy F. He is a human warrior, that's very good. He's in green, that's very good. He becomes a 4 4 trample. And he can also mill. So, a lot of abilities for one card. We will see how he does in standard, because his price will be propped up in standard. Next, Liliana the Last Hope. Now, is she Liliana the Veil? No. But does she need to be Liliana the Veil? Again, the answer is no. She's good enough. Um, she is a free mana planeswalker with a very good plus one ability and a decent negative two ability. Her minus seven ability ultimate is a little weird to me, but at the same time, I get it for EDH. Number two. Tamiyo. So I'm most excited to play with Tamiyo. Her price reflects the fact that she is considered the premier planeswalker. Uh, her only limitation, and it's a huge limitation, so I don't want to take anything away from this limitation because it is a problem, she's banned colors. It restricts the type of deck. You have to build around her, which is not what most Magic players want to do. Lastly, how can we go about Gisela? Um, definitely, if Bane Slayer Angel was able to dominate Standard for that period of time, this is better than Bane Slayer Angel. It has some upside, but at the end of the day, it is a cheaper, faster, um, it does have less power and toughness, Bane Slayer Angel. Very, very good card. Um, I don't. I expect C will fit perfectly into the green-white decks that are dominating standard right now. 